Howdy gamers, Patrick Hickey Jr. here, Editor-in-Chief of ReviewFix.com, bringing you the next edition of Gemmer Junk. This week out we're going to be playing Champion Wrestler on the TurboGrafx-16. So the thing that I like about this game is, man, like right off the bat, these guys all remind me of real wrestlers. We know that it's unlicensed. Like, that's Stan Hansen on the right and Andre the Giant on the left. Like... If you couldn't get a professional wrestling license back in the day, there were ways around it to make, you know, to make your game cool. You know, so, uh, this was cool, man. I dug this. So, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Obviously, um, we just saw a suplex. So, that that's pretty awesome. Um, I'm getting pile-driven right here. I love the punches. I don't know what I'm doing here, though. Tato had a reputation for making really freaking cool games in the arcade back in the day. Um, I don't know how I'm getting... I don't know how I'm getting suplexed. And pile-driven. I'm jamming on buttons here. I lost... Um, there seems to be, like, no method to the madness, so to speak. So you've got A and, you know, you've got 1 and 2, whatever, not A and B. Um, as your buttons that are, uh, controlling your punches and kicks, but there's, like, no grapple button. I think, like, um, it's kind of initiated almost, like, uh, Fire Pro Wrestling, but it doesn't feel, like, nearly as intuitive. So we're going to try again. Okay. This guy just like shot fire. Something, I, I, I initiated this somehow. Like I'm initiating the strength side of the, of the grapple. This guy's spitting fire in my face. It's getting a little wacky now. Um, this is a lot better than some of the other wrestling games that I've played on the TurboGrafx-16. There's definitely some fun... Once you handle these... Uh, oh, you can go outside the ring. That's pretty awesome. The control feels a lot better. He's got me, like, in an arm bar. See, that's the one bad thing about playing all these games on ROMs and stuff without instruction manuals. There's, like, there's no way to, like, learn the controls properly. Right? My son's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, this is definitely, definitely different. Um, there you go. And I missed. This is not tag team wrestling on the NES, which is, like, one of, still to this day, one of the most intuitive easy to play retro wrestling games ever it's not wrestle quest um yeah my son and i are having a conversation but um i like the pixel art i like the animations i mean this is a different time like yeah you're probably like oh they all have the same animations and stuff but just to have like four characters on screen at the same time you've got the manager walking back and forth You've got the the ref, you know. You've got these characters and stuff like that. So, th this is this is not a bad attempt at like an '80s '90s wrestling game. Um, this would have been awesome with the WWE license. Um, I just want to know like what this this power thing is like. Why why is his bouncing up and down like that? And and mine. And mine isn't, you know, like this is, there's a lot of stuff going on here, this game. Like, how do you perform grapples? If I stand there, it doesn't lock up, and I'm going to get punched in the face. Like, that was weird too. So you're standing next to the guy. Now I'm in a Boston Crab. Yeah, Gemmer Junk, I mean, I don't want to give this a junk. Bless you. I don't want to give this junk um, because I feel like I need to play it more. 
but I can't say that it's a gem either because it's not. There's no a game on the Atari on the Atari. You hear me? A game on the Turbo Graphics 16, simply put, has to be pick up and play. You have to be able to pick up and play it. A wrestling game like this, um, and it fails at that. So yeah, I'm I'm like stuck on this one.